welcome back to you some DIY, my name's Ben. Um, so this is an air fryer uh, video. So I'm gonna do chicken two ways, or two types of chicken. So I've got some mini, oh, well, I'll show you, let's show you. So first one up is this. It's the some two chicken breast fillets. Basically, I've just been to Tesco, uh, and because of the hot weather, so a lot of the fridges were broken, so they didn't have any cooked meats. So I'm gonna buy some cooked chicken meats with some sandwiches from the dinner. Um, so I thought, you know what, I've got an air fryer. Um, <laughs> I'll buy some chicken and I'll make some fresh chicken to slice up to put in my sandwiches. So that's the first one. I'm gonna do that for my lunch now. And then for at tea time, um, I'm gonna make, use a whole chicken. So I've got a medium chicken. And I've seen a couple of, a couple of people do it, so I'm gonna try it myself. I'm gonna put stuff that over lemon, Try to make it nice and juicy. Put some seasoning on the outside, maybe salt, pepper, garlic powder. So let's get this these uh, breasts done now. I'll just show you what I'm the, the the mix I'm putting on. Pop them in the air fryer and see how they turn out. Okay, so first things first, what I'm gonna do, because uh, I'm gonna pat the chicken breast dry a little, because it just seems to be quite wet. So it's taking water out of stuff seems to be the right thing to do for these air fryers. So that's one. Chicken breast done. Just use my hands and I'll wash my hands after. So just got the excess moisture off the outside a little bit. Without getting tissue stuck all over it. Anyway, let's put this in the bin one second. Let's give my hands a quick wash. Hands are washed. Right, it's really simple. All I'm gonna do we get a little bit of oil, not hardly any in there. So you see I've got my ch two chicken breasts, tiny bit of oil, I reckon that were probably a te teaspoon. I've got some sea salt, these ones. A sprinkle, just a, two tiny pinches of sea salt in. I've got my pepper grinder, black pepper, a bit of black pepper. And then this, we've got some Tesco uh, garlic granules. That always leak for some reason. Not a lot, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. And I've got some of this, got it from TK Maxx, some uh, smoked sweet paprika. So I'm just gonna just drop a little bit. I don't want too much, just that much. I reckon half a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna rub this, rub this in. This is not a lot of oil, so. Just need to make sure we get good coverage on the outside. That paprika is really, really nice. It smells good. Right, so there we go. They're covered. All done. So let me get, while my hands are dirty, I've got my air fryer tray. This is the first time I've done raw meat, so I hopefully don't need to do anything else. So literally, put them chicken breasts in there, like so. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll put them in. Okay, so that's them mixed together. So let's flip round to the air fryer. Sorry. So the rest of there looking glowing with that paprika. I had to put any paprika on that. Shut it. Turn it on. So the guide does say chicken breasts. You can see that on camera, sorry. Chicken breasts, four of them. 200 degrees for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna to go to air fry, 200 degrees, down to 15 minutes, and start. So let's see how they come out. I'll probably halfway through, flip them over, and I'll come back at the end and show you what they look like. Okay, chicken's cooked, just finished now. Let's have a look, flick around and have a look at it. Looking brilliant there. Give you that sort of sizzle noise. Excuse me for the thermometer. Hit middle of that. Let's see what we get up to. Looking for over 75, really. If it's not, I'll give it another minute. It's crept up to 80. 
I'm going to give it another minute. One more minute. One more minute of cooking. So we'll go back to air fry. 200. Ah, two minutes. Start. Better to be safe than sorry. Okay, here we go. An extra two minutes almost done. Right, ended. I'll get a microphone in this time. Get a bit of sizzle noise. Okay, I reckon that should be done. Let's get the thermometer in. Check that it's cooked. Okay. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Sorry now, but it's it's over 80 degrees now. We're good. We're cooked. We're not going to die. We're not going to die. So let me just... Oh, you can see it there, look. Moist. Moist. So they're looking good. I'll let them cool down and we can chop them up and use them in my sandwiches. Okay, let's have a look at this chicken. I'm going to chop it up now. It's been cooling for about 15 minutes. Chilling for about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to slice this up. Should have done it the other way, actually. Let's go that way instead. Perfectly cooked. Feels really moist, really soft. Still got a little bit of crisp on edges, where it's caught on edges. There we go, looking good. Nice, quick, easy way to do some chicken breast. Let me just have a taste of one. Mm -mm -mm. Good, really good. Okay, we'll make these sandwiches and then um, we'll do the whole roast chicken later on. Okay, some really simple chicken salad sandwiches. So loaded up with mayo, bit of lettuce, bit of red onion, some tomato, and then the, obviously the main attraction is this lovely chicken. Let's just stack this on. Pile it high with chicken. Slap the top on. Looking beautiful. Okay, next up is the whole chicken. So I'm not cooking it till later on. What I thought I'd do is I'll prep it now. Um, just get it, get the prepped on a plate in the fridge for later. I can take it out half an hour before cooking and get it in the air fryer. So all I'm going to do lemon up in the cavity, um, a bit of garlic I think in there as well, and then I'll just put some uh, salt, pepper, and a little, again I think I'll put a little bit of paprika on there. Kids might go crazy, but I'll put some on anyway. So let's prep that now. Okay. <laughs> So it's just a Tesco whole chicken, medium whole chicken. Let's cut this open. Get out onto me raw meat board. There it is, let me just put this in the bin and wash my hands one second. So get me lemon. All I want to do with lemon is just pierce it a few times. Like so, let's pop that there for a second. I get some garlic. I usually do this when I'm roasting in the oven, so I thought it makes sense to do it while we're doing it in air fryer, I guess. Try and get some of them flavors in there. So, just some cloves. Three cloves. I'm just gonna just gonna crush them down slightly. Just get this chicken out with a little bit. Crush that slightly. Get another one. Crush it slightly just to break it open a little bit. And there we go. So I'm going to put the, chicky, uh, the lemon into cavity like so. 
I'm going to put them garlic cloves in there as well. So wash my hands again. I'm going to pat this down, get the, get the moisture off it. Use the kitchen roll just to get any moisture off the bird. Right, so it's not too bad to be fair. Could do some, I've got no kitchen string really, I could do some string just to clamp that together, but we don't have any. So that's moisture off the outside. Pop that in the bin. Salt, pepper. In fact, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, we'll transfer this onto a plate. Just wash my hands again. Use this knife just to move it rather than having to touch it and wash my hands again. Okay, get rid of that knife, it's dirty. Into the dishwasher. So, garlic, uh, sorry, pepper. A bit of sea salt. I'm going to brush this around in a minute anyway. oil, tiny bit of oil on it, it's probably about a tablespoon of oil there. What I'm going to do is just going to use a silicon brush just to brush the oil around on the, all surfaces like so. Just get some of that salt that's fallen down there and down there and brush that on like that. Brush that there, put a bit more pepper on the outside like that. Got some Garlic granules, just have a light sprinkling of garlic granules over it. It should stick to the oil then now because I put the oil on. And this will just give it hopefully a really tasty skin. That's garlic granules. Just try and spread them out a bit better. Like so. And then I'm going to get some paprika in my fingertips this time and just sprinkle that over it's really strong stuff this paprika it's really sweet like so and give that a bit of a brush as well just to cover it it's not too much paprika I would say kids are a bit funny with red stuff and different flavours there's not too much there but just show you again that's the smoked sweet paprika I've got so that's that prepped I'll put some cling film over it and get it in the fridge. Cling film wrapped, going in the fridge. So that'll be in there for about um, three hours now. So it should marinate a little bit, I guess, on the outside. Um, so three hours time, we'll get it out of the oven. Get it in the air fryer and see what that looks like. Okay, I've got the chicken here. Been in the oven, sorry, been in the fridge. Took it out about an hour ago. So I'm going to put it into me, my fryer tray. Let's do it now. I'll wash my hands and then we'll stick it in the air fryer. Okay, wash my hands. Okay, here it is, I'll put it there, switch it on, so I'm going to go with, you might not better see it because of the light, but I'm going to go with a roast at 190, 190 degrees, I'm going to go with one hour, so I'm going to go one hour to start with, see how we get on, I stick the thermometer in, um, and see how it's looking. So let's Ninja Okay, so 950 left on that looking fantastic Let's close that so we want this to cook and rest for about 10 Okay, hour done 
make sure it's up to temp fly around yeah over 80 degrees pop it in bang into the middle still climbing nearly 90 let's get it in that bit there yeah we're cooked let's get it out I'll let that rest now for 10 minutes until the chips are cooked. A little added bonus as well, just chopped up some potatoes. So I'm going to put these potatoes now into some water, let them soak for about half an hour and then we can put them into the air fryer. So we're having chicken, homemade chips, and some coleslaw. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off these chips now in colander. Put a little bit of um, vegetable oil on them. Sorry, sunflower oil on them. And then halfway through cooking, I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder halfway through so it doesn't burn. Just drain them off. Get hot water off. That's took so much starch out of the potatoes. Like that. Just drain all the water off there. So a bit of sunflower oil. Squirt it in there, not too much, probably about two tablespoons at the most. Give them a shake round. Put that one in. Oops. And get them in the air fryer. I need to give the chips 18 minutes. Let's go on to two. I'm going to air fry here. Air fry. Uh, for 200 for 18 minutes let's shut the door and cook uh, they've had 18 minutes give them two more Done, dusted, chips finished.